now with three inspiring men who are brightening the lives of others. Baltimore natives Ali and Atman Smith and Andres Gonzalez are the co-founders of the Holistic Life Foundation and their new book, Let Your Light Shine, is spreading their message about how yoga and meditation can, help life change, can have life-changing benefits for kids. They are here with us now. Thank you guys for being here. At GMA, and, and Ali, I'm gonna start with you. Your, your program, it, 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 you, you've worked and you served thousands of kids in the Baltimore area and, and around the country. So, what is the idea behind the program? I think the idea behind our program is to use yoga and mindfulness, meditation, and breath work to promote connection, empowerment, love, and fun. A lot of people don't love themselves, and you can't mm. expect people to love anyone around them or have any value for human life if they don't love themselves first. They got to connect to themselves to connect to the world. Um, and we want to empower them with the practice. We use a reciprocal teaching model. where We teach everyone to be teachers so they can go home and share the practice with the people around them that are suffering. Um, whatever they need, meditation, breath work, whatever it is, we try to help them. And I think the fun part, I mean, our teacher always told us your students have to have fun. Mm. And if you talk to our students, they'll tell you have fun. If you're around our friends, they would definitely tell you that they have a good time with us. Yeah, you have fun, you want to come back, you want to exactly. share share that fun and share that joy. And then, what are some of the positive impact that you've seen um, to the kids' mental health? I mean, some of the positive impacts that I've seen, you know, our kids deal with a lot of trauma, and trauma does get stored in the body. Uh, the physical yoga practices that we teach them helps release that trauma and makes their body a safe space. And then, you know, a lot of the kids, once again, they deal with trauma and it makes their brain stay in survival mode and they don't have access to executive function or their prefrontal cortex. But with our breathing, our breath work practices and meditation, it heals that trauma and gives them access to both of those. And Andres, you, you created something called the Mindful Moment Rooms. Tell us about that. Yeah, so the idea behind the Mindful Moment Room is we're trying to create an oasis in the school that's an alternative suspension. So instead of using punitive practices where you're punishing the students for some of the trauma they face or some of their turbulent households, we're giving them tools that they can use to face the adversity that they face today and for the rest of their lives. And the results are amazing. There's a school that we worked at in the epicenter of the Freddie Gray Uprising, where when we were running that program for seven years, there was zero suspensions. Zero suspensions. Zero suspensions. So it's really, really working. And, and, and Ali, what are one, of the, you, one of your techniques, it has to do with breathing. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? What is yeah, that? I mean, the breath is a tool that you always have with you. I mean, if you don't have your breath with you, I mean, you're, you're kind of screwed. So like, you need your breath. Um, so being able to take a conscious yogic breath has huge benefits physiologically, but also it helps you get from paras I mean, sympathetic to parasympathetic dominance, so you're not living in that stress state all the time and it's slowly killing you, wearing you down. There's a lot to be stressed out about in the world. And I think particularly for our students, um, it helps them to respond instead of impulsively react to things. Like when they're little, it might start off as, you know, like you might get suspended, you might get detention, but as you get older, like the consequences become more dire and it could mm -hmm. save their life or someone else's life. Are there any techniques you can show us right now for everybody at home? I mean, yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a belly breath that we use all the okay. time. Most people pant and they use just their chest to breathe. They're only using the top 10% of their lungs. If you can get down to your belly, you're accessing your full lung capacity. So pretty much just putting your hand on your belly and inhaling and expanding your belly. In and out through the nose. As far as you can, then you're gonna exhale and pull your belly button to your spine and push all that air out. And push all that air back out. Most people, again, they only breathe with the top 10% of their lungs, but if you can use your full lung capacity, that's when you start to slow things down, you start to slow, slow your thoughts down and your body down, and you get all the benefits that the breath has to offer. So breathe in through your mouth, out through your nose. In and out through your nose. In and out through the, yeah. I got the gap, man. I got more breath I mean, coming look, in. Look, hey, like, like you, like you, yeah. man. <laughs> we, we, we losing our advantage. I mean, I mean two <laughs> handsome people on the stage. All right, in through the nose, out through the nose. Exactly. Hey, I really appreciate you guys coming, man, and making such a difference, not, not just in Baltimore, your community, but seriously around the world. And thank you for writing this book and sharing this book. And everybody at home, let your light shine how mindfulness can empower children and rebuild communities. It is out today. Make sure you check it out and learn to breathe. Life changer. Thank you guys.